Well, good morning. It's the first time I've ever used this device to see if it works. Everything, I haven't done this in quite a while, but I'm going to try to start doing it at least on Sundays. One minute. Uh, I got some coffee beans, and I didn't have a coffee grinder, so I'm going to give you all a little tip, a homemaking tip, a life hack here. You can use a blender as a coffee grinder, and it works quite well. Now, with mine, um, it's kind of uh, low capacity, so you have to put like a small handful in, and you do a few beans at a time, you put the, it doesn't get them quite right, but you put them back in the coffee can, and when you get the coffee can to where you want it to be, you take the ground beans and you regrind them on puree, and when you do that, you end up with fine grind fresh coffee. Good morning, Sunday morning. Um, congratulations to all of you who lived through the night. And uh, we noticed yesterday in Texas that um, a good tornado does tend to clear out the air. My sinuses are doing much better today. I don't think their sinuses are worth a flip down in Franklin, but then that would be their problem. Okay. Anyway, um, I've got two articles up here, not one. I did two today. I did one about uh, the black hole, which is a kind of an introspective. I call it introspective article because it... Uh, analyzes the fact that we're really a bunch of apes and that the internet has ruined everything. And the other one, I uh, kind of glanced through. I binge watched last night. I don't like to binge watch, but I was out of vodka and there wasn't much else to do. So I made a pot of coffee and um, I binge watched something called Lucifer. And I discovered at the end of about eight hours of watching Lucifer, I began to agree with the devil, you know, which was special. Uh, but at any rate, um, I, I go ramping through Facebook, uh, which is another thing. I don't know why I do, but, you know, when you're sitting here drinking coffee and eating these wonderful cookies, which I will advertise now, as a matter of fact, these, I've eaten cookies and cake all week. I think I put on four or five pounds, which is nice. Uh, anyway, I was going through Facebook. I did not find the the Holy Grail, but I found this very, very nice picture of a totally new girl back in 68 or so hitchhiking to Woodstock. Like I said, I began to agree with the devil. Everything else seemed to be pretty good. They're still analyzing. And, of course, we get phone calls, but you know what? I am not on my phone, so I can reply later. Anyway, um, they're still after Donald Trump's uh, income tax, and like I pointed out in the article above, if they wanted to see his income tax so bad, don't they think the IRS has already looked at him? Mm hmm? Why don't you look at uh, Hillary's income tax and see where she put all that Iranian One money? Assange is captured. Well, he's going to come over. Now, that's what they want him to do. Come over with the lawyers I know he can afford and put up a defense and drag everybody's butt into the hole there. He's the one that released all the emails. It'd be very nice if he read them all into the record. Anyway, that's what's going on there. Um, Family-wise, um, I've got a big red dog called Porter Rockwell still. And Porter's pretty cool. Uh, he dug a hole yesterday, and uh, I thought it was for him to lay in. It wasn't for him to lay in. Uh, I looked up, and he was doing this creep walk. You know, it's a creep walk. And once he got to the hole, he jumped in it and he came out with a squirrel. Yay for Porter. I saved dog food that day. Going to have cabbage and red beans today and do the Sunday stuff. I think Brother Theo's coming over and we're going to go out for coffee, which is going to be special. Maybe a beer. I've got this wonderful, delightful place south of town called the Bar and Grill. Appropriately named, of course. Uh, well, yeah, it's going to be warm. It's going to be about 70 or 80 degrees. We can sit out under the patio and listen to music and, and do whatever people do on a Sunday. Family's doing all right. Everybody seems to be doing okay. Uh, granddaughter's doing fine. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. My grandsons, all four of them up in Utah, have taken to doing yard work. They're planting cherry trees, apple trees, uh they don't have any lemons and limes up there. They, they don't grow anything soft. There's nothing soft in Utah. Everything is hard, okay? Um, doing all that kind of stuff. Other than that, uh, we have divided 
the butcher shop into sections. I will be with Chappie and uh, the others, and we'll be writing articles. And Chappie, I do have all your articles. I just went crazy this weekend and wrote two of my own. But you're lined up for practically all of next week. It's going to be the Chappie Show. A new writer that we don't know who they are came out of nowhere, and they call themselves I Bleed Orange, wrote a delightful little article about the good old days, which I found interesting. I liked um, a couple other things. Chappie's uh, chimed in. We got a whole bunch of a whole bunch of things going on in Austin. Um, Greg Abbott and that uh, ball-headed bugger from California that likes to lie about people on his porch came out, and of course, I guess it's Ken Paxton. Is it Ken Paxton? Or no, Dan Dan Patrick, uh, the lieutenant governor. They all came out and declared that they were Democrats. Not a, a front, of course. They raised all our taxes. Now they lied to us and told us, this is how we're going to get rid of your property taxes. While they raised the property taxes and the sales tax at the same time. Uh, there's a infant sorrow song called The Clap. Listen to that, that song. There's prophecy in there when you think about what's running Austin right now. The Clap, okay, by Infant Sorrow. <clears throat> At any rate, I'm not going to make this one real long. Hi, Reese. Reese is the one that kept me employed at Apple as long as I could stay there. I could not get hired on by Apple permanently because I had a DWI. <clears throat> and they only hire people who are drug addicts. So, at any rate, it's going to be a wonderful Sunday. I don't make these things very long because they're easy to digest. Read, read, read. Subscribe, subscribe. We are now writing for the Lantern Little Liberty Beacon. And I think it comes out of Missouri. It takes care of the center part of the United States. Very conservative. Very conservative. Um, we got that going on. Uh, Brother Theo is taking over uh, Butcher Shop Books. And we are finishing uh, Saving Carry, the arms dealer. Of course, you know, Cigar Box comes out in segments every week. And we are putting a sales uh, button on that thing. Because, like I said, I'm out of vodka. So, at any rate, uh, thank you so much for coming in on Sunday morning so early. I'm glad to see that Chappie's probably going to church. I don't think Reese will be going to church, but uh, but he'll think about God a lot and everything. Uh, good to see all y'all here. I'm uh, ready to go, and apparently I'm ready to go on the phone, too. Ciao.